All right, what's going on guys? Welcome to Bearded Brad. If this is your first time here, my name is Brad. I do a ton of saltwater fishing, mainly here on the Alabama Gulf Coast, but all around Florida as well. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe button. A lot of new people checking out the videos lately and uh, a lot of people that are not subscribed. So if you're here, you've seen some videos before and you have not subscribed yet, go smash that subscribe button. But today we're getting ready to go head offshore, see what all we can get in. Main objective today is some tarpon though. Still did some tarpon, tarpon season have not hooked that big one yet, so I wanna go try to land a tarpon on the boat. So we're gonna head on out the pass, see what all we can get into, but uh, guys, I wanted to let y'all know our tackle store is having a massive sale. July 28th, 29th, and 30th at our warehouse in Foley, Alabama. The address is 1000 South McKenzie Street, which I will have linked down below. And uh, so y'all need to come make sure you check us out. Friday and Saturday is gonna be 9 a.m. until 7 p.m. and Sunday from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. And on Friday the 28th, uh, Bama Beach Bum is gonna be doing a surf fishing seminar, which is gonna be super cool. I'm gonna be grilling some burgers. We're gonna have some drinks as well. Uh, so if you wanna come check it out, free food, free drinks. I'm gonna put a little form down in the description. If you are gonna come to that seminar, come get some free food and beer. Um, just put in your information there. We're just trying to keep a track of how many people are going to show up so we can make sure we have enough food and drinks for all of you. But we're about to head on out in the boat. I'll catch y'all when we get out there. All right, y'all. Just pulled out the pass and saw a bunch of fish and birds busting everywhere. So we decided to run over here. I got a little glass minnow jig tied on. These fish are scared of the boat, so we got to be careful. Can't get too close to them or you're scared them. They go down. Oh, right in front, right in front, right in front. Can't throw this thing very far. Oh, that's right in him. That's right in him. That's right in him. Come on. These Benita like you to rip it right across the top real fast. Knox, come up here. I think it's a spanner. Oh, maybe not. All right, Knox, real fast. Real fast. And watch out for Dominic. Dominic, you go under him. Get him down. Let me see if I can get one hooked up for you. Benita? Nice. Oh, he blew up right here. <laughs> These Benita are blowing up all over the surface, all over the place right here. But again, they move so quick, you gotta get up on them fast and just keep moving. Chris is driving the boat right now. Hi, hey, buddy. I'm gonna roll, see if I can get you hooked up real quick. There you go, there you go. You got him, you got him, real. Real, buddy, real. Don't let go of that run. You got him, buddy. Noxie with the bonita. <laughs> Get him, Noxie. Don't let go of that rod. You got him, buddy. Real pull up and real down. Pull up, real down. Four year old on the bonita. <laughs> no, you got him. On a little pin pursuit 3000. I know. I know. You gotta pull. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta pull up and reel down. Pull up and reel down. You're doing good, buddy. Just keep reeling. That's a tough fight on some light tackle. I think he's still on there. It's just from you pulling forward. Just real fast, real fast. Just keep reeling, buddy. You're doing good. Oh, right there, right there. Oh, he he just woke up, Max. He woke up. Who? Your fish. See if we can double up here. Oh. Real, 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 You got slack, you got slack. Real, 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 fast, 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 fast. All right, slow down, Chris. He's getting a lot of slack. Real, buddy, real. There he goes, there he goes, there he goes. Try not to let that line go slack. You got him. You're doing good, buddy. Pick up on your rod. Get up. There you go. All right, now reel down, reel down, reel down. Reel, 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 reel. Pull up. And then reel. You got it? Yeah, buddy. Hold, okay, no, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold the run. Put your hand on here. Reel. Pull up. Reel. See, so we just get one crank at a time. Sure. And we'll get them up here. This is going to be the biggest fish you've ever caught, Noxie. The twice bigger shark? It's not bigger than a shark, no. You've never caught a shark. Well, you did catch that little baby shark. Hit up. <laughs> nice. 
Check it out, buddy. <laughs> what do you think? Hang on, what's up? He's got hooked right here. All right, y'all, check it out. Knox just got his first Benito. Whooped him on the little 3,000 size reel. What'd you think, Knox? Was that fun? Yeah. A lot of fun? You wanna go catch another one? Yeah. All right, you wanna help me throw this one back in? Yeah. All right. Time for it. All right, you got him? Yeah. Woo! High five, buddy. That like he did cannonball. <laughs> that was awesome. That like he did cannonball. Cannonball? Yeah. That's right. In the water. All right, let's go catch some more. Yeah. Oh, somebody got blown up on. I got one, Noxie. No, Woo! This Benita on light tackle are super fun fish. You got it, Knox? Hang I on a second, mine. I'll help you, buddy. I cast mine. Did you cast it? Okay. Here, let me see. Let me see. I'm gonna cast for you. Let me see. It's so heavy. Here, I'll, I'll get them. Daddy, Over there. there. Look, right there. Yeah, they're Just everywhere, jump. man. They're everywhere. Yeah. Go ahead, man. All right, here you go. Real. I got it. All right. Hooked on a fish, cast a Noxus reel. This is insane blitz out here. Bonita everywhere. Oh! <laughs> that was sick. All right, here we go. I got a bobo right here. Noxie, can you net him for me? Oh, he just ran. He just ran down. He didn't like that. These fish do not like the boat. I only got a 2,500 with 10 pound braid, so can't be too hard on them. You got one? Yeah, here. You don't have one yet, but you got a reel that fast, fast, fast. Come on, baby, he's right here. Oh. Right here, Chris. All right. Nice. All right, check it out. Another Bonita got my first one on the little 2500. I think we are going to keep one of these guys, do a little catch and cook. They're actually pretty good to eat if you bleed them out first, get them right on ice, eat them same day. So that's what we're going to do. Let's go see if we can get Knox on another one. Chris just threw for Knox, see if we can get Knox hooked up again. They're everywhere. You just cast, you got a good shot at one. Oh, right there by the boat, right there by the boat. Oh, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Oh. Light tackle Benita action. <laughs> oh man, that's a good one right there. Golly, that one went for a big run. Woo! I got a big one, Knox. Yeah, maybe that kind of big shark. Like a shark? I don't know if he's gonna be like a shark. Oh, did he pull hook? No, he's swimming in. He's swimming in. Giant Benita on here. Getting on the little battle 2500 Ninja Dagger seven foot rod. You good? All right, bud. You ready to reel in again? Real fast. Real fast, as fast as you can, Knox. Yep. Reel and jerk it. All right, my fish is coming in here a little bit now. Come on, baby. Dang. This one I thought he was coming. He took off again. This little glass minnow jig is money. You can't cast it very far, which makes it tough. But these fish love eating them. A lot of time, these bonita. Or Spanish or blitzing like this, they're chasing little glass minnow schools down the beach. And so this is like a perfect lure for that. Trying to get Noxy on another one. Dang. This one's dogging me. These fish, they're literally like a 360 around the boat right now. We are right in the middle of this school of Bonita. Oh, <laughs> I foul hooked him. Look, I'm bringing him in backwards. That's why he woke me so much. Look, Nox. Yep, another Bonita. We're gonna have to keep this one because I drug him in backwards. A lot of times that'll kill him. Oh, no, that line just got wrapped around his tail. He's hooked in the mouth. All right, Bobo number two. I drug him in backwards. He's still breathing a little bit, but I am gonna go ahead and bleed this one out and keep him too. A lot of times when those fish are drug in backwards like that, it'll actually kill him. So uh, he probably is not gonna survive. So we'll, we'll keep this guy. Have two Bonita to take home, do a little catch and cook. Now see how it turns out. Get him, Knox. Noxy on another Bonito. You got him, buddy. Oh, come off. Watch your head. Oh, they're right after it. They're right after it. Watch him. Watch him. Oh, dang. I thought he was going to eat right by the boat. I love you. Oh, he ate it as soon as it hit the water. Dang. That was cool. The second the lure hit the water, he smoked it. 
Oh man, another bonita. Chris, you gotta get you one. You haven't caught one yet, have you? Did you? I thought you gave it to Dominic. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, these fish are so dang fast. Get up here, buddy. Oh, they're all over the boat on this side. There's like thousands of them around us right now. Literally every direction you look, there's Bonita blowing up. Yep. Oh, it just pulled. It just pulled hook. See if we can get hooked up again. Pull the dang hook on him. That breeze feels good. Oh, right in front of us. Right in front of us. Uh, there we go. There we go. Knox, you want this one? Yeah. Come here, buddy. Mine? Yep. Real, real, real. Real, buddy. Real. Real. Oh, you got a Spanish. You got a Spanish cup. Uh, Knox. Woo. That might be. Have you ever caught a Spanish? No. Knox's first Spanish mackerel. Dad, but we keep it. You want to keep them? Yeah. Sure. All right, y'all. Knox just caught his first Spanish mackerel. Ooh. He wants to do a little catch and cook, so we are going to throw him in the live well, take him home as well. That's Good a job, buddy. Heck yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, I don't know if we got Bonita or Spanish. Oh, that's Bonita. That's definitely Bonita. They are so fun to catch, man. A lot of people hate on Bonita, but they're fun to catch, decent to eat, good fight for the kids. They're definitely a blast on light tackle. Just when you think they're whooped, it goes for another run. Hey, Knox, do you want to try to net them? Right here. I want you to try to net them. Can you try? Yep. All right, put the net in the water. I'm going to try to bring them to you and see if you can scoop them up. Let's see how Knox does with the net job. Net, net that's your job is to net the fish. I just got to get them up for you. It's like catching a tuna now, doing all the barrel rolls. And then just when you think you got them, they go right back down. All right, Knox, you ready? You got your net ready? Pull them up. Get them. Pull the net. Grab it. Grab Pull the here. net, Knox. <laughs> go. Hey! Good job, Knox. Heck yeah. All right, we got another Bonita. Knox with the awesome net job. This is so much fun. Knox, you having fun? Heck yeah. Hard to beat coming out here chasing these schools of fish like this. Hard fighting fish. You want to throw this one back, Knox? No, I want to keep. Toss them back. Woo! Oh, you're doing so good, buddy. All right, y'all, check that out. That is the bait that these bonita are eating, little tiny glass minnows. So small presentations, what they like today. All right, we're moving spots, but fish are still blowing up everywhere. It's hard to not catch them while they're here. Let's see if we can get us another bonita hooked up here. All right, I decided to tie on a little ES lure. I'll be able to throw this further. That way we don't have to get right up on them and scare these fish and get a better cast. I can throw this thing a mile. They're blowing up like crazy out there. Golly. Talk about blow ups. Jeez. Oh, already on. That didn't take long. Let's see if we can get doubled up here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Doubled up, baby. Go under, under Brad. Yeah. I know, I can't tell. Yeah, we're back the other way. Yeah, they like to swim back in the boat. <laughs> These fish fight so hard. Oh, this is awesome. They were blowing up all over the place. We saw a little school of ladyfish. Let me go under you. Go over me. And then uh, turned around and saw these fish blowing up like crazy. Came over here. Got on some more bonita. On the ES lure. Doubled up with Dominic here. Man, he took off. Yeah, they were mad. Did he eat my shark? No. Me? Dominic, I think Dominic just got Did he? 
Looks like we've got another YouTuber over there. Somebody's got a camera on. I have no idea who that is, though. All right, I gotta go under. Watch out. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh, not the motor, not the motor, not the motor. Bonita took me all the way to the back of the boat. Oh, that's a big one, too. Oh, uh, yeah, I can flip them. You gotta get them, Dominic. He might have got shark, maybe. All right, y'all. Bonita gone. Whew. Dominic, if that's a little bonita that you can't get up, we're gonna have to throw you in the water. Dude, yeah, that's a bonita. That is a tank, bonita. Hold on, don't reel up so much. I gotcha, I gotcha, 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 gotcha. Big bobo. Giant. No wonder he ran out so much line. Ah. Wow, look at that massive thing. <laughs> That's the biggest bonita of the day. Oh, weird. Nice work, Dominic. Good stuff. Noxie, you're going to catch another one. Let's go. Bunch of fish blowing up. Not sure what they are, but they are blowing up everywhere. Come on. How are they not eating? There we go. Nox, here. Nox, here. Oh, this fish might have got off. Or it's tiny. Oh, it's tiny. A little Spanish. I was gonna let Knox get them, but I thought I got off. That's actually not a bad Spanish. Go okay, grab some pliers. That's a Spanish mackerel, Knox. Yeah. God, look at all that. Look at all that bait in his mouth. Can y'all see that? Yeah. Ow. He spit up so many little glass meadows. That was insane. All right, pulling back on the school here. Oh, he hit it and missed it. There he is, Knox. Knox, here, 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 here. You got him, dude. You got him. This one's all you, buddy. You got it, dude. Oh. What? Keep reeling, keep reeling. He's still on? Yeah, you still got him, buddy. Keep reeling. Reel, 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 reel. There he is. Oh, they're chasing him. They're Spanish chasing all of them. Oh, oh, I just almost fell in. <laughs> keep reeling, buddy, keep reeling. A little more. Reel. All right, that's good. Nice, Knox. Look at all that bait he's spitting up. Good catch, dude. This they like to eat. Yep, they like to eat that little bait. Those are little glass minnows that they're chasing. Where? I hold, I hold you now. Yep. Oh, oh, got him, got him. Hang on, hang on. I got him coming up this way. There we go. There are Spanish everywhere. I would keep some Spanish for a catch and cook, but we just, whoo, easy release. <clears throat> we just caught all those big ones. That was actually yesterday. You've already seen that video when we caught the kings and giant Spanish. And uh, so we got a bunch of fish in the fridge right now. So releasing all these Spanish, just keeping the, uh, just keeping the bonita, just to do a little catch and cook. But Spanish are blowing up over there. We have these massive schools of these glass minnows cruising the beach. So that's what all these fish are chasing. They're like spitting them up all over the boat. <laughs> Knox has one in his hand. All right, y'all see them blowing up up there, guys? They're right up under these birds. So many Spanish. Oh, there he is. There he is. Knox, do you want to catch another one? Get him, Dominic. We're doubled up. Knoxie, do you want to catch this one? Yeah? All right, here you go, buddy. You got real fast, okay? You got him, bud. You see him? He's right here. Baby you see him right here? Right there by the boat. You see him? Yeah. See him in the water? Ow. There he is. Whoa! All right, flip him. Woo! That is another Spanish mackerel. It just spit up everywhere. Good luck. So look at all that bait. I don't know if y'all can see in the water right now. All that bait is swimming right under us. This is what all these fish are feeding on. Millions and millions of these little bait fish everywhere. And there's a dark spot right up there. I bet that's even more glass minnows. So many fish. Oh, there we go, there we go. Hooked up. These birds are diving. Fish are blowing up. Bait everywhere. I feel like I'm just repeating everything I'm saying, but there's just so much life out here today. 
fish all over the place. It's gonna be another Spanish mackerel. It just came off right there. Got him all the way to the boat and it came off. Oh, there we go, we're on again. Oh, he just spit it. Oh, there's a big wad of them right there, right blowing up right in it. All right, I'm right on top of them. They gotta eat right there. They gotta eat right there. Dang. Chris just saw tarpon. That was our original plan for today. But we've been chasing fish everywhere. 50, 50 yards off the front of the boat. Where are you at, buddy? Was it just one or a wad like of them? Or? Come over this way. Is that them right there? Uh, I, can't I didn't see any. You didn't see them? Uh-uh. Oh, I never saw them. I just heard you say tarpon, so I... Yeah, I was like, Dominic. Hey, yo. Noxie, nope. What's up, buddy? Another day. Yeah. Just a couple of bonita. Yeah. Nice. Open up. You said you're doing a catch and cook. Yeah. For YouTube. A little Spanish too, but. Spanish. You want yeah. mine raised in that Spanish? One? Yeah. There you go. Oh, did you keep Spanish too? Yeah, Knox wanted to keep one. All right. How are you gonna cook that bone either? Um, so I've actually ate it like raw, like sashimi, um, or put it in a sushi roll, or we pair, uh, pan sear it like tuna. If you do it fresh, like we'll have to do it like right when we get home, it's not that bad. It's not yellowfin tuna by any means, but. Well, all right, guys. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Good luck with that bone either. Thanks, man. I'll bring you some if you want to try it. I'll, I'll, I'll check out the channel first. Yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> See you, man. All right, guys, we are back at the house now, about to try out some of this bonita. Nox, you have fun catching your first bonita? Yeah. Was it a big one or a little one? Big. What else did you catch, remember? Um, I don't know. Spanish mackerel. Spanish mackerel. First bonita, the first Spanish for Kelton, or for Knox, whatever your name is. Knox! <laughs> Got a little bit of the bonita cleaned up here. We're, we're just gonna do a little taste test today. I've had it before and it's not too bad. I was planning on doing it the same day, but it's the next day. We're having a giant sale at the warehouse. So I'd be at the warehouse yesterday going through a bunch of stuff. If you are interested in checking out that sale, it is July 28th, 29th, and 30th at our warehouse location in Foley. It's 1000 South McKenzie, which I'm gonna have linked down below. So come check it out. Emma Beach Club is also gonna do a, a surf fishing seminar on Friday the 28th, which we're gonna have free beer, some food, I'm gonna be cooking some burgers and stuff. So come check out that out Friday the 28th from six to seven. Again, I'll have everything linked down below. But uh, we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of the spicy seafood seasoning that we're trying out. Hey, you stay up here a little bit and sprinkle down. This bonito was not too red right when I cleaned it yesterday. Sitting in the fridge for about a day, it, uh, it's gotten a little bit more red, a little bit more fishy. So uh, we'll we'll see how it turns out. That uh, that oil heated up all right. We gotta set the smoke alarm off. All right. Well, that was exciting. The uh, the pan got a little hotter than expected. Oil got a little bit smoky. But hey, that's all right. We opened the doors, got some smoke out of here. But uh, we basically got a little bit of blackened. Benita, I think it's still gonna turn out just fine. We're gonna give it a taste test real quick. It's a, uh, it's a bit mushy, not terrible. If any of y'all have ever eaten bonita, comment down below. Let me know how you cooked it. Let me give it a little taste test. Honestly, it's not bad at all. It last time I did it, we did some raw. We ate it like sashimi. Uh, we put some in a sushi roll, we pan seared some, kind of like how I was trying to do this. It did get overcooked so it's like fully cooked through, nothing wrong in the middle. It almost tastes a little bit more like beef. The way it's fully cooked, it, it kind of tastes like beef, which, which isn't bad, I mean, doesn't taste like tuna at all, but what do you think, Knox? I haven't tried it yet. Alright, come your turn. Yeah. Come try some bonito. It's really, really good. What's it taste like? It tastes like bread rice. Tastes like bread rice. <laughs> <laughs> if I was to recommend you 
keeping this, I would probably try to, again, cook it as fresh as possible. Try to pan sear it, keep it a little bit raw in the middle. That's gonna give you a little bit more of that tuna type flavor. The way I did it over cooking it like that, honestly, it tastes a little bit more like beef, kind of like a uh, well done steak. <laughs> the flavor's fine though, um, really was good. That would probably be good, like shredded up in a taco or something like that. Kind of messed up the cooking portion on my side. All in all, not too bad though. I mean, I honestly will still eat the rest of the food on that plate. We got some more in the fridge that uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with. We'll see what happens with it, but I'm actually saving for some bait. Snapper season is still open, and uh, bonita is really good, so we can chop that up into some chunks and uh, drop it down for some bait for those snapper. Knox had a good time on the boat out there catching his first bonita, so always fun to have the kids out there. He gets a little antsy though. He he probably asked about 500 times to go ahead and head back to the house. He gets bored and uh, wants to come hang out with mom, but Kelton, if you can stay out of trouble, we're going to take him back out. He was supposed to go with me that morning, but uh, got in trouble for hitting Knox. And so anytime Kelton gets in trouble, he loses his privilege to fish. And so he was not happy about it, but Knox was. He was able to get back out there on the boat with us. But hope you guys enjoyed that video. Again, I'm going to have everything linked down below, all the products we use as well as the information for the tackle store sale. So make sure you come check us out if you are in town, fully Alabama. But hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will catch y'all in the next one.